morning. This morning's devotion is about the topic of joy. Today in the society we're living in and the community we're living in, it is so difficult to find moments of joy or find reasons to be joyful. Yet the word says in Galatians 5.22, it says that joy is a fruit of the Spirit. So on the one hand, as believers, we do have this fruit of joy. And on the other hand, Nehemiah wrote and he said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if joy is the strength on this side and joy is the fruit on the other side, what happens in between? Why is it that we receive the fruit, yet it's so difficult to have the strength of joy every day in our lives? So this morning, I want to just guide you on a possible way to position yourself to be able to cultivate joy in your life. So first of all, you have to realize that joy comes from three sides. First of all, it is a thing of the mind. Secondly, the heart and then also the spirit of a man. That's why we say joy is a fruit. So firstly, the mind. We need to enjoy moments of happiness. It is not okay just to spiritualize everything and say, but it's just because of Jesus that we have joy. You have to live in such a way that you create moments of joy for people around you. But also when those moments come, moments of happiness, you embrace them and you enjoy them. A lot can be said about your facial expression every day, the way you leave your home, the way you come back. Your family will, will interpret your face and that might just bring them some happiness. So please create moments where people enjoy happiness. Secondly, our hearts leap for joy. So this is when moments arise when it's joyful. Maybe the birth of someone, the birthday of someone. What about some sort of a victory or a blessing? But these moments come, and I want to encourage you not to miss these moments. If we are focused on, if our minds are set upon looking for moments when they come to enjoy them, enjoy the small moments in life, this will really serve a great deal in lifting your spirit and keeping you joyful. So be attentive, look around, and if those moments are there, celebrate those moments. Please don't let moments of joy just go by. And then lastly, to, to find joy in all moments. This is where we engage the Spirit. You see, because we have Jesus, because we have this fruit, it is possible to look through the eyes of Jesus into every day and create and find moments of joy. The, the thing is this, it's only possible to find joy in all moments if you really plug in with Jesus, connected to Jesus. This comes by a few things. Let me give you three pointers. First of all, Spend time in the Word of God. It is not possible to have the filters or the eyes of Jesus, the heart of Jesus, to find joy in all moments if you're not full of the Word and have His perspective. Secondly, we should have an eternal perspective every day. We have to be people expectant of life after death, eternal life of Jesus. It's only if we interpret life right now through the eyes of eternity that it's possible to to be joyous and to really enjoy these moments, even if it's difficult. And then lastly, we have to be ready and inclined to celebrate moments of joy in other people's lives. It's not only when you feel it and when you experience it, it's also when you see joy or possible joy in other people's lives. People serving God, people get to know God, people maturing in Christ, that we celebrate it with them and this will create joy. So I want to encourage you. Let's enjoy life. Let's find joy in Jesus. Let's engage with our, with our minds, with our hearts, and with our spirit, man. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Thank you. Till next time.